forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. And we're going to be adding some more precipitation to the watershed across the area as we have another storm system. We make its way into our area come tonight into tomorrow. Right now, though, we're starting to add some cloud cover, but we've still seen some sunshine. It was actually a nice morning out there if you got a chance to get out. Rather cold, but uh, we saw that sun and that's always nice to see. Again, changes coming as we head into the evening hours tonight. Winter weather advisory in effect right now for Jackson, Clinton, up to Joe Davies, Carroll, Whiteside, Lee counties. That is in effect until 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Starts at 4 a.m. overnight, and that's because we got this winter system that's going to be making its way into our area winter like system right now clean sweep here on first alert Doppler radar on the local scan we take a look at the regional view though low pressure in a trough that's going to be making its way up into our area at least into southern illinois as we head into the overnight hours tonight that's going to be the catalyst for us and on the south side of that we're going to be talking about a pretty significant severe weather uh, day possible across parts of louisiana arkansas mississippi and that's an area where we have a level four out of five risk to see severe weather possibility of some strong and long track tornadoes down in anywhere here you see in the red. So from Yazoo City over to Greenville, El Dorado, uh, down to Monroe, Louisiana, and over into Jackson, Mississippi. Possibility is there to see some significant severe weather. If you know anybody in those areas, let them know that they need to be weather aware today. For us, though, we're going to remain on the cold side of things. And right now, temperatures a little bit below average for this time of year as we has kind of been the routine the last few days. Uh, I talked about mid to upper 40s across the area. East wind to Gustin at 16, though, uh, helping chill things out a little bit. Feels more like 39 right now in Galesburg, 38 Macomb. 40 is what it feels like right now in Muscatine, and 37 over in Galena. Here's the low pressure system. This is uh, tracking down there into Arkansas, Missouri, as we head throughout the day. Storms fire up into parts of Louisiana, into Mississippi. Again, we're going to remain on the cold side of this. By midnight, that rain really, really socked in with that rain. On the back end of it, we start to transition over to snow, and you can see that by 3 a.m., really the entire area in the metro and really in the entire TV6 viewing area is going to start to see snow. That continues on through the morning hours into the midday in its wake, leaving anywhere from 3 to 5 inches, maybe locally higher amounts. I think this is going to be a good spread right now, what exact track is picking up here with a heavier band focus from Rockford down Kewanee, Sauk Valley area, down to Galesburg, Burlington. Again, the big thing is, folks, is it's going to melt pretty fast. So here is a local look at exact track by 9 o'clock. Tonight, we start to move that rain in. By 3 a.m., it's transitioning over to snow. Again, we go through that throughout the day, 8 a.m. Here we are at noon. At noon, we start to push that out, and dry air and sunshine comes out behind it, and maybe even some gusty winds on the back end of it. It's going to be a heavy, wet snow, so we're not looking to see any blowing and drifting. And as we head into Sunday afternoon, we bring in the next chance of rain and maybe even some more snow. So certainly doesn't feel like spring temperatures throughout the day. Going to get up into the low 50s, so a little bit closer to average. But as we head throughout the night tonight, touching close to freezing, I still think services are going to remain well above freezing. So we're not going to see a lot of this stick to the uh, pavement. As we head throughout the day, we do warm up tomorrow by 5 p.m. We're into the mid 40s for most of our hometowns. Drop it down into the upper 20s on Sunday but then warm up a little bit uh, closer to 40. It's going to be a cold day on Sunday. And again, we bring some more rain and snow shower chances. Still a spread, though, with our models. You can see there's some models going on the higher end, but uh, really, again, I think that three to five range is going to be pretty consistent for us. For the next seven days, we get rid of that system. Uh, through the or morning hours tomorrow into midday Sunday, bring in more rain and possibility of maybe a snowflake or two. Monday, start to clear things out, and Tuesday we are definitely seeing some sunshine. A little bit more average, though, as we head towards the end of the week. All right, well, go for your walk before dinner. And